Hello, I'm Andrew and today I'm going to talk about this Technics SL1200GR. Uh, also, I'm going to talk about the new Technics uh, integrated amplifier, yeah, the Grand Class amplifier and their new speakers. Okay, But most important for us audio lovers is this uh, turntable. And last year I made a movie about this same turntable, the same thing, well almost the same thing. Uh, that was the 1200G and the 1200GAE Limited. And, uh, well, that limited version was sold out in 30 minutes. <laughs> Believe it or not, it, is, it was a thing from 4,000 US dollar and was sold out in 30 minutes. So, Technics also have the 1200G with a price tag from $3,000. And they promised, they promised last year that they would bring out a cheaper version of that 1200G. And so they come with this 1200GR. And, well, the price is still not good enough. Yeah, the price is still not good enough. I will talk about more about this price later. Because the price is 2000 US dollar, yes. 1500 uh, British pounds or 2300 Canadian dollar and that's that's way too much that's way too much I don't know if these guys in Japan understand what are the living standards I'm not sure what, what the living standards are in America but here in the Netherlands 2000 uh, US dollar is about well 1900 euro and 1900 euro is for us in the Netherlands a month working we have to work a complete a whole month to buy a turntable. So the thing is way too expensive. Yeah? And more about this price and why they choose for this price later. This is from What Hi-Fi, also a very nice website. And a lot of stereo news, you know, things you will not see in... I, I, I will make a few movies about this new CES, but just a few. And on this website, What Hi-Fi, you can read much more uh, what's new in stereo and in hi-fi okay and uh, well as you can see the price yeah 2000 2000 uh, us dollar and uh, well the difference is with the sl 1200 gr so the new technics the weight is 11.2 kilo yeah and uh, so it is 0 0.8 kilo heavier than the previous sl 1200 mk 5 yeah and uh, but it is way lighter than the uh, 18 kilogram weighing the, the reference sl 1200 g i'm not sure why this sl 1200 g is so heavy but it is a difference from almost seven kilo also the platter is 3.6 kilo yeah so i think uh, it's uh, well the, anyway, the, the, the 1200G is a thing most of us can't or won't pay. Yes, and I explained that earlier in, in my movie from last year, why this SL1200G is too expensive for most of us. But even this one, even this one, yeah, I'm going to show you. Even this one is too, way too expensive. And uh, let me see. You can see it on fact, yeah. Listen to what this director from Technics have to say. Yeah, director Hiro Morishita. He told the New York Times why the company had turned away from DJs and toward the audiophile market. Well, first of all, DJs made your Technics turntable big. Yeah, so if you turn away from those DJs, yeah, you betray those DJs. That, 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 that's my opinion. Yeah. Secondly, not everything is about money. Yeah. Uh, now you make uh, turntables. Well, let, let us see, so see what he has to say. Why the company had turned away from the DJs and toward the audiophile market with this assured line of turntables. Our concept, listen to this, our concept is analog records for hi-fi listening, he said. DJs are fine too, but as marketing tar target, it's problematic. We don't want to sell the 1200 as the best tool for DJing. The 1200 is the 1200. 
Well, as you can see here, that the limited edition was sold out in under 30 minutes in Japan. Yeah, but he doesn't say anything. The, what, what, what is he meaning with the 1200 is the 1200? What kind of bullshit is this? Okay, it's true. On the second hand market, these tables are priced. Yeah, the second hand market, the 1200, yes, the SL1200 MK2, they are priced at well, between five and 700 if you, have, if you have a mint one. Yeah, so I can understand they don't want to have this thing in the shops for under one thousand dollar yes it, it will also affect the second hand price of the uh, sl 1200 mk2 when they sell it that cheap yeah so i don't think it's a good thing if they sell it for one thousand dollar but can they sell it for one thousand dollars i say yes they can sell it for one thousand dollar because if you see this thing it is a beauty of a uh, of a turntable but if you're going to count these parts, yeah, you're going to calculate what it costs to make a turntable like this. Believe me, guys, you will not come above 200 US dollar. Believe me. Yeah. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. But I can be wrong with 50 US dollar maximum. Yeah. So I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to show you this. What's, what's this? You see the difference between this is a uh, what you see here is a SL1200 MK2 and this is a limited version. Well, no, this is the GR. This is the GR. Yeah, this is the GR and this is the limited ed edition. The one what, what was sold for 4000 US dollar and this one is sold for 2000 US dollar. Okay, it's a seven kilo lighter. I'm not sure where that seven kilo is, but seven kilos for just making your turntable more heavy, yes, in just weight, uh, doesn't explain that 2000 US dollar. Yeah, you can see the difference. They make this knob silver and here it is black. The same counts for this thing. Yeah, the adjustment knob, this thing and this thing. Yeah. And that's the only difference I see. The only difference that, that, that are outward showing. And of course the pattern is lighter. 2.5 kilo against 3.6 or 3.8 kilo. Yeah. And they think that difference is worth 2000 US dollar. And they know. They try it out with this thing and they see. Okay, 4000 is expensive. But still it was sold out in no time. Also... The $3,000 uh, version, the G series, the 1200G, is, is, is going okay. It is, it is sold good. So they thought, okay, why should we sell this thing, the new one, yeah, for $1,000? They can sell it for $1,000, but they can sell it for $1,500. I think, I think it was more fair when they would sell it for 1200 between 1200 and 1500 us dollar yeah thousand is a little bit too too cheap you know because be honest if you see on if you just check out the second hand market today yeah and you see what people pay for second hand turntables then 1000 us dollar is too cheap for this turntable yeah they will if they bring out this turntable for 1000 us dollar Yes, uh, a lot of turntables, second-hand turntables between 500 and uh, let's say 2,000 US dollars, second-hand turntables will well will will not be sold anymore. It will have a big impact on the second-hand market when they will sell this thing for 1,000 dollar or below that 1,000 dollar. It will be a, because everybody will buy a. Technics SL1200 GR brand new, yeah. I mean, let's be honest. A second, a second one from 30, 35 years old is nice, when you can buy it for 300, 400 euro. Uh, well, a Technics second-hand table cost between 450 and 700 euro a mint one, yeah. So, 
I think it's uh, 2000 is a little bit too much, not way too much, but a little bit too much. I think it was more fair, yes, for the just for the audio lover to make it cheaper between 1200 and $1,500. But I can somewhere understand why they make it this uh, expensive because, well, they want to be on top of the market and uh, they calculated, well, we make more profit when we sell these things for 2000 US dollar. Of course, they make more profit when they sell it for 2000 dollars, but they can sell it easy for 1000 believe me. And, uh, well, it's up to you. If you are a DJ, a big DJ who makes uh, 10,000 US dollar a night, these things are cheap, yeah. You can even pay the, the limited edition. Doesn't matter if you make ten thousand dollar a night, yes. But for those guys who just are DJing in their house just as a hobby, yeah, or you just want this table as part of your hi-fi set, well, two thousand dollar is a month working for most of us guys, and uh, I think it's a little bit too. Well, for me, it is too. I, I will never buy a turntable for two thousand. Uh, Dollars. So for me, it is too expensive. And uh, but yeah, it is the fact you cannot change the fact that they price this table two thousand dollar. And uh, well, I think for most of us, we have to be happy with the second second hand SL twelve hundred MK two versions. Yeah, we still can find on the market for five hundred to seven hundred euro. Well, maybe. Mm, well, I'm not sure. Maybe there will be another downgrade of this turntable next year yeah maybe maybe i'm not sure i hope so but i don't think so yeah so okay let's go on with the with the new matching <laughs> and this thing is a beauty this grand class sug 700 stereo integrated amplifier and really this thing is a beauty 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 i will show you pictures from it yeah well, let me see where I have pictures. Well, these are pictures from the uh, from the Technics. Yeah. Well, here we have a picture from this new amplifier, and the thing is a beauty. I first thought it was a uh, a power amplifier, but it isn't. It is just an integrated amplifier with a input selector, yes, and a volume knob, and nothing more. So I don't see bass treble, and well. I'm not sure why they make it like this, but I think it is a beauty. Look at this. And uh, well, this is the back side. This is the back side of the uh, amplifier. And of course, it is made for those uh, turntables because, uh, well, it is a beautiful thing when you have a, on top of this amplifier, you have that beautiful. 1200 GR turntable. Let's be honest. So I'm not sure what is what the price is of this thing. They didn't give prices for this turntable, but this turntable is only a two times well two times 70 watt is enough. A two times 70 watt you can read it here with eight ohms, and if you have four ohm speakers, it gives you what two times 140 watt, and it only weighs 12.3 kilogram. So. I hope this thing will stay on the 1500 US dollar, but of course, that, that's what I hope, but I think I'm completely wrong, I'm not sure what they will ask for this thing, but uh, if I see the price of this turntable, I think uh, this thing will be also expensive. These guys nowadays are just aiming for those rich audiophile guys, and there are a lot of rich guys out, of, out in the world, and... Uh, they are not aiming for the for the middle class. Yeah, they are aiming for the rich guys. Yeah, with the, with, the, with these prices, and uh, these are the new speakers, the Technics Grand Class SB G90, and uh, well, I'm not sure. They start from 27 hertz to 1000 kilohertz, so I'm not sure what kind of tweeter. There is inside this uh, speaker, but 100 kilohertz, and uh, it's looking nice. But uh, again, there is no price. There is no price. So, and uh, Technics can make some good speakers. They made some good speakers in the past. So, 
I'm not sure. Well, I, I'm sure people will not buy these speakers in combination with the uh, turntable and the uh, the amplifier. But uh, well, it promised much when I see the specs. It is a promising speaker. Yes. So this was my short my short video about CES CES Technics. Uh, the new Technics SL1200 GR, yeah. And if you are into uh, a new turntable or you want, well, 2,000 US dollar is a lot of money, too expensive for me. But yeah, if 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 it's not too, too expensive for you, yeah. To be honest, if 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 I if I would make a choice between this one and the 1200 G, I would go for the 1200 G because that one is more heavier, more beautiful, a little bit more beautiful because of the the silver things and uh, because well, if you can pay 2000, then what's 3000? You know, I I cannot pay 2000. I will not pay 2000. But if you can pay 2000, then better go for the 1200 G, the reference model because that one is. Uh, even better than this one well okay also what's my movie uh, my other movie about the Technics SL1200 MK2 yes I tested that turntable and it's a beautiful turntable a mint one I tested and uh, well thanks for watching uh, put those thumbs up if you like this video uh, don't forget to subscribe on my channel and for now I say bye bye